Hi, in this video, we're going to learn some tips for testing our Tracy programs. As you've been working through Tracy exercises, you may have been using the grading tab to check if you've correctly completed the task. This is a great way to know if you're on the right track and to check if you are practicing using the new pieces of information or concepts that have been introduced. As we continue through this course, this is a great way to continue to use the auto graders if available. In other scenarios, you may notice that the auto grader checks are all successfully completed, even when the output of your code and the result world look wildly different. This is why you do not want to rely on the auto graders to determine if you have fully completed the task. So if the auto graders are not going to tell you when you're successful, how do you know when you have completed the exercise and it's time to move on? Let's dive into a few different options you have to check your code. In most cases, checking that the output of your code matches the result world is the best place to start when you are grading yourself. There are some programs that will allow you to be more creative, and in these cases, you don't need to have the output match the result world exactly but this will be noted in the exercise description. In general, it is a good idea to determine your program is successful if it looks like the result world at the end of the program run. As we learn more commands and concepts, our programs are going to get more complex and we may be asked to solve a problem in a specific way. It is important to note any information given in the description that may provide us with a sort of checklist that can be used to make sure we are solving the problem correctly. This can always be referred back to by clicking on the exercise tab. A rubric may also be included in the exercise description in future exercises. This can provide some extremely meaningful and applicable feedback that can be used to grade yourself. Your goal is to be in the advanced category for each piece of criteria listed. Peer review is another great way to get feedback on your program. We will learn a bit more about structured peer review sessions later in this lesson, but simply turning to a partner and asking them for feedback on your program while you give feedback on theirs is a great way to be sure that you are both on the right track and to gain a different perspective if you're stuck. Now it's your turn to take a deeper look at these strategies.